Hello guys, I'm Vikas from Small Academy and in this video today we are going to extend our authenticator app that we created previously where I have shown you guys how to create authentication system using email. There we learn about creating a login page, register page and we also we also take the data from the user like profile data and we, we store that in the Firebase and we also learn how to retrieve that data. So in this part today, I'm going to extend the authenticator app. Uh, in that video, I left that how to reset the password. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to reset the password if user forget the his password. Okay. So uh, it's really easy in Firebase to uh, reset the password. So whenever user click on forget password, he can give his uh, email. And if that email exists in our Firebase authentication list, then Firebase will send him a email and with link and using that link user can reset the password. So it is just a pretty standard way of uh, resetting the password and after that he can log into the our application. So without further ado, let's get into our applications and also if you don't have the source code, I have uh, put the link in the description. You can download that from there and if you want to learn how to create that whole applications, then you can check the playlist that I'm going to put in the description as well and there is one more authentication tutorials on OTP so if you want to register the user without using email but using the his phone number and OTP received through his number then you can check that tutorials as well so uh, let's start with this tutorials today so I have this application open here so click on this I'm going to open my application if the application is open now I'm going to go to the layout section of this application and in the layout section, we have these three layouts here for main activity, register activity and login activity. So let me go to the login activity and I want to show the forget password option here because whenever user comes to the login page and if he already have the account and don't remember the, don't remember the password, then he can change the password from here, right? So it is the pretty uh, common way of displaying the reset password option. So I'm going to drag and drop one text view here and um, just between this progress bar and the text view that we have here so let me set the constraint okay so make this little bit bold and i will change the text as forgot password okay i'm gonna give the uh, id for this so that we can use this later forgot password okay now uh let me change the color of this so that it can, it will adjust with the UI here. Okay, so this is the option where user can click on this forget password and go to the and it will display the password reset activity. So let's uh, come back to our login activity here. So whenever user is click uh, clicking on that forget password text view, we are going to let them enter the email and uh, Firebase will send the reset link to their email address if that email address is valid and present in our authentication list okay let me get that forget password link here so for that i need to create a text view first so we do have text view here already so i'm just going to do create another one here so forgot text link and i'm going to initialize this variable with the xml resources that we have that we just created in our layout so r.id done and i'm gonna use the forgot password text view now i need to uh, handle the on click on this link because whenever user click on that we are going to do some uh, operations right so i'm gonna create the set on click listener here on our forgot password text link so i'm gonna set on click listener and new on click listener and inside the on click method we can write our code that will handle the reset options okay inside this on click view we need a edit text but edit text field so that the user can enter his email so to do that i'm going to create an edit text field here so i'm going to set the name as reset mail and i'll be creating a new edit text field and i'm going to get the context of current view so i'm going to use v.get context okay now uh, i'm gonna integrate this reset edit text inside my alert dialog so i'm um, first I, i'll be creating an alert dialog so let me create that alert dialog dot builder and i'll say password reset dialog 
new hello dialog builder and i'm gonna get the current context now inside this hello dialog i can see the title and messages so that user will understand that uh, what he needs to do further to reset his password so i can use password reset dialog dot set title to give the site uh, to set the title of the dialog so i'm gonna set reset and after that I can use the same uh, object to set the messages so that user will see the messages okay and I, I'm gonna give the information that says enter your email to reset the password link okay to receive the password reset link now I'm gonna set my edit text to the error dialog by using the set view so I can use password reset dialog dot set view and I'm gonna set the reset mail view now finally I'll handle the click button on the error dialog so our error dialog will have two options yes or no so if user click on no we'll just exit the error dialog and user go to the login screen if user click on yes we will uh, handle that and take the email from the edit text and send the reset email so I'm gonna use the same object error dialog object and I'm gonna use first set positive button and first we need to provide the text for that button so yes and we need to handle the click on this positive button so so new dialog interface dot on click listener and inside this i will extract the email and send reset link okay we'll do that later first let's, let me also set the negative button that is for no option okay so set negative button and we'll do nothing because if user click on no uh, he'll be uh, he'll be redirected back to the our login view close the dialog okay now inside this uh, i'm going to send the reset link to the user now to reset the password we need the instance of firebase auth so let me create an instance for firebase authentication and uh, we already have firebase authentication here so uh, i'm gonna initialize that but i yes we already have this firebase authentication here and we have already initialized that as well so i can use this same firebase authentication object to send the password so let me go back here and after that now uh, to reset the password i need email as i said before right so first i'm gonna extract the email from the edit text field so i'm gonna set mail and the name of our edit text field is reset mail and we can use get text and i'm gonna convert that to the string now i'll use the f auth and we have one method called send password reset email here okay and i'm gonna pass the email here now i can listen for the success or failure of these this uh, method okay if the uh, send password reset email is is able to send the reset link successfully then uh, it will call the on success listener otherwise it will call the on failure listener so i'm gonna use the add on success listener so that we can display some message to the user that says um reset link has been sent and we'll close the dialog okay so let me create a toast okay so otherwise if the operation is failed then we'll display some other messages so I'll, let me add and on failure listener and on failure listener inside these we'll display some message to the user that says link is not sent and i'm gonna attach the exception okay so whatever the exception user is getting so if he is not uh, giving the valid email or if he is not providing the email that is uh, that have the account on our application and in that case this exception will be called and he'll get the messages from our applications so guys this is how we send the reset email to the user so i'm gonna run this app and show you guys how exactly this work and i also show you how to uh, customize the the template that is that will be sent to the user so that you can you know make it more feel like it is about your applications so there is some modification we need to make there as well so let's go ahead and do that okay guys the app is running now and i'm gonna create an account and i'm gonna show you by uh, resetting the email okay for that account so to create the email i i need to provide all this information here okay 
I'm gonna set some password one two three four five six and let me give some sample phone number and now I'm going to register here and we'll see how it goes okay the user is created and you can see my profile here profile details and this is how we had implemented this application before in other tutorial so if you want that you can check that tutorials in the I will link that video on the description okay so as you see, as you see the my email is the my small academy at the gmail.com so i'm gonna log out from here and here in the login screen i have now forget password but before uh, actually doing that let me go here and i just remember that i forgot to display the alert dialog so let me display that i'll create the dialog and so now let me rerun this app again and I'll also open the Firebase console so that you, you can see the difference. Now select the applications. So this is called Authenticator app. And here my application is connected to this Firebase particular pro project. So uh, I'm going to go to Authentication and show you guys that my list of email address. Okay. So this is the email that I used to create the account here. You, okay. Our app is running now here. Okay. I'm going to go to the login and I'm gonna click on forget password and it will display this uh, interior mail to receive the reset link and if I click on no it will just close this so let me keep my email okay so this is the email that I used so let me click on yes and we'll wait for, wait for the message and it says reset link, link is sent to your email and now I'm gonna go to my gmail account and show you guys the email is received or not so let me go here and okay here you can see reset your password for project something it says project because we have not customized our template yet so let me click on that and now i have this reset email and it says project 562743 because this is the actual name of our project here so that's why it is saying that it's okay we can customize that later and click on this link and it will let you reset your account so from here i can give the new password so i'm gonna give some new password okay click on save and it will reset the password for me yes now i'm gonna go back here and type my email and the new password so here i have typed my email that is exactly email that i used and i'm gonna use the password that i just typed that is 987 six five four three two one that is my new password now click on login and it should log me into the okay guys so this is how we reset the password in firebase i hope that you understood that what i i was trying to show you in this video that how we reset the password in firebase but if you are getting some problem to run the applications and so on then uh, there are various ways that you can con contact with me one is obviously the youtube comment section other other options is that you can join our facebook group i'll link that on the description and uh, also uh, i'll write a blog post about this so you can go there and comment there i will reply your comment there a lot of other Firebase related videos are coming so if you haven't subscribed yet don't forget to subscribe ring the bell like the videos and I hope to see you in my next video bye bye